What's up, my dudes? This is the track review of Glen Canyon Enduro, and I've had a long day at work, but my head's been throbbing, so gotta put in work. Can't be missing out on these videos, dude. Oh, man, that's with anything that you do. It, it has to be do or die. Like, I know it sounds so silly, it sounds so crazy, but anything you want to do, I got some dude making car, he's got his race car going on and across the street, but I'm still making this video right now because I don't have time. You get what I'm saying? Like, this shit is crazy, dog, crazy. <laughs> but it's like, when you want something bad enough, you just make it happen, you know? It doesn't matter what else is going on. There could be a, a tornado, volcano exploding, and you could still do what you want to do if you really want to do it that bad. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But uh, sorry if I'm a little bit off my game. I've uh, been having allergies and headaches all day, but gotta make it work, dude. That's one of the best rap songs ever, dude. The banger of all time. Work Remix by ASAP Ferg, baby. Put in work. Put them in the dirt. <laughs> Dude, that song gets me going. But anyways, track review, my God. Um, Glen Canyon Enduro, pretty sick track, actually. Uh, not too bad. I, th I thought a lot of these sections were pretty unique for a trail track. Kind of reminds me of my Canyon MX track that I made a while back. Uh, kind of an old school style track, but it's got a lot of cool little elements like that to it where uh just kind of feels like you're down in this cavern canyon style of a track this track definitely has more of a realistic style of a ground decal and stuff like that though so i was impressed by that it does have a very realism sense to it uh with a certain kind of he's got like sort of a multi-texture looking decal if you see it off the track right there it's kind of like this brown mixed with light gray dirt kind of vibe going on and it actually looks really good it looks super realistic but uh, all these different sections, I like how he's kind of put the track together. They all kind of just form and seem like they they make sense together. It's not like just one long straightaway that is not connected to the rest of the track or something funky like that. You know what I mean? It's like the whole track is kind of rounded in a sense like that. And it's got a pretty cool, unique section right here. Kind of similar to my, uh, let's see, what was that track? evening trail morning trail one of those where i had it where you were going on that really narrow section kind of similar to that but a different uh different kind of style to that so it was cool how he did that it was like kind of similar to it but different at the same time so i really uh like that about it and some of these sections are just humongous tall berm those really big just kind of wall ride berm style uh corners you can get going in this game and uh, a lot of you mx simulator faithful know exactly what i'm talking about but uh those some of those old school tracks had a lot of that going on where you could just literally never let off the gas and have the bike completely sideways in a corner because the the actual corner berm itself was so tall so you could kind of do little trick lines and stuff like that uh with some of your cornering but yeah, uh, got some water sections on this track as well. Cool little addition. Whoa, dude, getting upside down on it, turning it up. But uh, that's a perfect jump for that right there, too. Um, you just sweep around. You got to be careful on some parts of this track, though. If you get too peppy, then it can really cause it to... Um, give you like a weird kicker somewhere or little things like that so you do have to be patient but it's not too bad and i think it does match a trail track um you know real life trail tracks a lot of times you have to have that patience with them because they're not as smoothed out and um as consistently level as a like a prepped motocross track or a supercross track or something like that so it's way more apt to have those just random ass crazy kickers in areas or or stuff like that you know things that'll just flip you right over the bars instantly um but a lot of cool sections i love that background skybox as well uh that is really cool i like how he's done that but uh, either way got another section right here where you just jump over that and then my dog just walked in the room. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Got to put in work. If I'm telling you, you want it bad enough, you just make it happen. That's all there is to it. Nothing else matters. It's See, when you're 100% into something, then it, everything else disappears. I love how you can get to that mind state where it's like something means so much to you that literally nothing can stop it. Nothing can bring you down. Nothing 
can change your outlook on it or your opinion on it. You are tunnel vision set on it, one goal, and nothing is going to stop that goal from happening. Nothing's going to stop it from becoming achievable. That's how you have to get with anything. You cannot just be half-hearted in this life. It just doesn't work. You got to be all in, dude. I mean, all in. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know I'm going off on all these Spencer Turley life lessons and stuff, but it's just things I'm actually going through in my life, and I learn stuff like that, so it's cool to uh, let you guys in on some of it. But And I know it's easy to say that, and that's the thing about it. It's easy to say it and think it, but to actually do it, that's, that's what is the whole thing when you actually do it and you do it for a long time then you can be the man you know but just talking about it's just one thing but doing it you know that's when it actually happens that way so um but yeah some more little sections here water sections i like kind of how he's uh integrated some of this red bull stuff on this track as well uh kind of tied it all together made it feel like an actual red bull uh kind of trail type uh, track it almost looks like uh, you know those biker uh like red bull i don't even know what they call that but like where they're on those bikes and they hit those crazy canyon jumps on bicycles i don't know how they do that dude but uh yeah, that is crazy not having a motor and jumping something that looks like a motocross jump over a canyon woo those dudes have some nuts of steel i'll tell you that but uh, got some decent little off-track objects and stuff. Makes it look okay. Um, I like how he didn't just have a super basic look to it. I think this track looks better with these different objects and stuff that he has. But, oh, so he's got these little sections. See if you, like, fall somewhere or are these, like, I don't know what these are. If these are cut lines or if they're, see, it's, like, bypass route or route or tomato tomato. Uh, I don't know what those really are. But I think... I know on some sections, if you, like, accidentally fall off the track, then you can kind of use that to get back on the track. I don't know if those are, like, cut. I, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, some of these jumps, you do have to time them out properly. You can't just be, like, wide open in fourth and expect to kind of just uh, somewhat be in the realm of the landage point. It's just not really going to work like you think. You really got to know... Uh, this track actually took me quite a few laps before I really had some of these jumps down. Like this one right here has got a bit of a weirder face on it. If you want to technically claw it all the way over this, then you got to hit the brakes to not over jump this into the face of this next jump right here. Then you got to not hit the gas too hard to over jump this. You see what I'm saying? So you kind of, you really do have to use your mind on a lot of parts of this track right here. Pretty tall jump face there going right through it, bro. But, uh, yeah, so either way, uh, it's pretty decent track, man, overall. I would say, and I always love trail tracks, by the way, shout out to the dude that made this track. I love different style tracks like this. I've always been a big fan of just something that's like, whoa, never really seen anything like that, quite like that before. So always got to give extra points for that, and I love how he did it here. But um, it is challenging. It is a trail track, but it's not crazy hard. I mean, I've definitely made way harder trail tracks than this out there. You can get flowing pretty good once you kind of learn some different lines on it and stuff and figure out how hard hard you got to be on the gas love people revving their engine across the street making a video but <laughs> it's all good dude man if you want it bad enough you'll make it happen it's just that simple but either way um i'm gonna give this track a uh i'm gonna give it a nine overall and i'm gonna say the difficulty is probably medium so anyways i appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes